And as a mayor, I chose who I know is going to bring our city back and create an environment where we're going to raise healthy children and families. I'm so proud this day to tear down barriers. Mm -hmm. This amazing law enforcement professional, she carried with her throughout her career a sledgehammer, mm -hmm. and she crushed every glass ceiling that was put in her way. And today, she has crashed and destroyed the final one we need in New York City. We have a strong, powerful new police commissioner, Chief Sewell. Yeah. Good morning. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor-elect Adams. It is truly an honor to be here with you today. Your personal story and message motivates me as we endeavor to provide New Yorkers with the public safety they need and the justice they deserve. I stand here today because a man boldly and unapologetically made a decision well before his monumental and successful election. A decision that gave women in policing across this country an opportunity, not a favor, but a chance to work with him, the citizens, and the finest, most storied police department in the world to make New York City a safer city, a more inclusive city, where the community feels connected, heard, and served, no matter where they live or work. Queensbridge Houses is part of my story. I wish my parents were here to point out the building and the apartment where they began to give me a strong sense of purpose, commitment, and confidence. To all the little girls within the sound of my voice, there is nothing you can't do and no one you can't become. I want to thank my family and friends and pointedly the extraordinary men and women of the Nassau County Police Department who I have been fortunate enough to be inspired by, taught by, and served with for close to 25 years. You are exceptional, and I am forever grateful. In this city, in this moment, I have come full circle, and it is with a humble heart and clear eyes about the task and challenges ahead that I accept the position of New York City Police yeah. Commissioner. I have been immersed in policing. From patrol officer to detective, my experience as a hostage negotiator, bringing transparency and accountability to policing up to and including my role as chief of detectives. I have watched, admired, and worked alongside the remarkable members of the NYPD. It is an honor and privilege to stand with them now. We are at a pivotal moment in New York as our city faces the twin challenges of public safety and police accountability. They are not mutually exclusive. As police commissioner, I carry out the vision articulated by Mayor-elect Adams enhanced by the inclusion of people and partners who are doing the crucial work on the ground, like Kay Bain and Bishop Taylor. The NYPD has an important role to play in making our community safer, but we cannot do it alone. It is not just the police department, this is your police department. That's right. That's right. Leading a department of this size and prominence requires much more than just good judgment. I know as Mayor-elect Adams does, that it requires that emotional intelligence that he spoke about, a proven ability to break down barriers that still exist between police and the community. Policing is about people. Mm -hmm. We will be laser focused on violent crime with an emphasis on guns. I'll employ experience, decades of my own, the collective talent and input of the members of the NYPD and the invested members of the community. We'll arrest violent criminals, take guns off the street, and then build the cases to help keep them off. I am mindful of the historic nature of this announcement. As the first woman and only the third black person to lead the NYPD in its 176-year history, I bring a different perspective 
committed to make sure the department looks like the city it serves and making the decision, just as Mayor-elect Adams did, to elevate women and people of color to leadership positions. I sincerely believe that policing, with its courage and perfect public safety mandate, is a noble and vital profession. It is said that the NYPD is the best of the best. We're about to get even better. <laughs> As Mayor-elect Adams has said, I will have the backs of my officers, but they must have the backs of the public. I will hold our officers accountable, and I know you will do the same for me. Mr. Mayor-elect, I am humbled and honored by the trust you have placed in me. My shoes are laced up. I'm ready to get to work. All right. <laughs>